Hey babe, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna Maria. Today we're just gonna jump right into the video and I'm gonna show you how to properly shampoo and condition your units. Let's get it free from oil and all of the buildup products. So first thing first, we wanna go ahead and make sure we fully saturate this unit, okay? Make sure you fully saturate the unit, get the water true and true. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some shampoo. I like to be really generous with my shampoo. This is the first round just to pull out a lot of the, you know, oils. Something you didn't see me quite do maybe is I pulled out some of the water before I did apply the shampoo just because I didn't squeeze out the wig before applying the shampoo. Okay, so just make sure you squeeze out the wig um, with all the excess water. And we're going to go ahead and rinse this out after the first shampoo. And make sure that you thoroughly rinse this out, okay? Don't leave no product and shampoo um, left behind for the second round. So once we thoroughly rinse this out, we're gonna move on to applying our second round of shampoo. And like I said, be really generous here. You're gonna see me pull the water out right here, okay? So pull some of the excess water out before applying the shampoo. I don't know why I keep forgetting and then I just kind of do it. So when you're shampooing, make sure that you're moving your fingers in a downward mo motion and not like rubbing the hair together. Always move your hand in a downward motion, okay? And that's how you can prevent your, your wigs from being tangled or getting matted. We're just gonna keep going downwards. So right here, you're gonna see me, I'm just trying to prevent the hair from all going down into the drain. You really should just get a, um, one of those drain stoppers with the fine, fine holes, the, you know, that would be ideal. Don't ask why I haven't bought one yet, but I always try to um, just pull the hair up and, and get it from going down the drain, so. Now we're gonna go ahead and rinse out our unit in the same direction, working downwards. We're gonna get in between the wefts. We're gonna separate the hair and fully rinse out this unit from all of the shampoo that's in it. If your unit is really dirty, you want to go ahead and wash it a, a <laughs> I try not to say this word a third time, and um, you know make sure that it's free from all products. But this is not that dirty, so I'm just gonna go ahead on to my conditioner because my unit is fresh and clean right now. So squeeze out this unit as best as you can because we're gonna apply the conditioner next. And we want to make sure that our unit is, you know, not dry, but just damp. Okay? Now you see me here, how generous I'm being with this conditioner. I'm making sure that I have enough conditioner to work all the way throughout my wig, okay? So run your fingers throughout the unit again, downwards motion, making sure that you get all in between the hairs using your fingers. Make sure that you're also running your fingers up between the tracks and getting all in between there, making sure that this unit is fully saturated with the conditioner, okay? Now, here's my son running away from the camera. We're gonna set the timer for 15 minutes. If you can do longer, I will suggest that you at least 30 minutes, but we're just gonna do 15 minutes minimum. Now we're just gonna go ahead and take the brush and we're gonna brush our unit in a downward motion, making sure that we start with our closure, or if you have a frontal, start with your frontal. When you're doing this, you wanna work your brush from the ends up to the weft and make sure that you fully brush out your units before moving on to rinsing it out. Also, you wanna get a paddle brush just like you see me have here. Do not use a comb. The paddle brush is the best thing to use when you're doing this. So just a quick announcement. If you have not seen it as yet, just know that October 15th is the last day that I will be accepting any wig orders. I wouldn't be making any custom units for um, the public, so it will not be on my site anymore. I will be moving the website fully into digital products 
where I teach you how to make the wigs, how to customize the wigs, and all that good stuff. So just jumping right back into the video really quick so I can tell you this. I am rinsing out this wig with cold water. You want to make sure you're rinsing out this wig with cold water, not warm, not hot. Okay. And that's going to make sure that we seal in all of the moisture that we, we put in the hair from the conditioner. Make sure you're getting in between your tracks because another thing that the conditioner likes to do, it likes to sit on top of the tracks and you just want to make sure that you're getting in between your tracks. You see how I have it positioned this way? I'm getting it like almost from the back per se, but fully rinse out your units, okay? And so like I was saying, um, we're going to move fully into digital products where you're going to learn exactly how I customize the wig and how I make the wig, but that's going to come quite later on. The vendors, my personal vendor will be for sale if you're seeing this within 72 hours of this video being released. Along with my personal vendor, I'm going to include my backup vendor as well, you know, just because you always need a backup, okay? So it might as well be a two-in-one. After the 72 hours, the vendor is going to be available on the site, but it's probably going to be, um, I haven't figured out an actual number yet, but I'm thinking about 600 or more. Um, and that's just because we don't want everyone to have access to these vendors. Okay. So you have to be serious about wanting to invest into this. So back to the video, we're just about finished here. And <laughs> I have her squenched up in this towel, like a little baby. So make sure that you fully dry out your unit. And right here, I'm just showing you all of the hair that came from the wig. Now you can see how she's freshly clean. Okay. You want to get the shampoo. I'm going to show you the shampoo and the conditioner so you can take a screenshot of it. But this is going to be uh, a playlist. So this is just part one where I show you how to shampoo and condition your wigs. And then we're going to move on to how to properly dry your wigs. And then we're going to get into curling. I do have a curling tutorial video here on the channel. It's for beginners. So I'm going to link it at the end. And you guys, if you found value out of this and you want to see more of these types of videos, just like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. I won't make it easy for you now